What's up YouTube, it's Jackal Goldkick, and in this video I'm going to be talking about why Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6 should get remakes. So this is a video that was requested by In The Shadows, so I'm going to do this video, I'm going to try the best I can with Resident Evil 5, I'll talk about basically why I think both of these games should get remakes, I'll talk about what I can see. Now, with Resident Evil 5, it'll be mostly easy because there's an original version of this that looks better. It'll be a lot more difficult with this game, though, because this game has a lot going on in it. A lot of people tend to say this game had too many cooks in the kitchen, so it's going to be kind of difficult talking about what I think they should do with this. But, um, yeah, this is a request by In the Shadow, so we're going to do this. Um, so with Resident Evil 5 and 6, back in the day... I did used to like these games. I used to like Resident Evil 5 and 6 back in the day. But years later, when I re-got these games on PS4, I can't really get into them anymore. I just really can't get into these titles anymore. I feel like they just lack the magic and the funness and everything that made Resident Evil 4 work and made it a good game. I feel like these games just didn't really carry the torch of what Resident Evil 4 did. I feel like The Evil Within was a better expansion of what Resident Evil 4 did than Resident Evil 5 and 6. These were more like action games with like co-op and not really much horror to it. And like I said, I used to like Resident Evil 5 and 6 back in the day. I even made a video defending this game, but these games just don't hold up for me. And it really sucks because I remember having nostalgia for these games and enjoying them, but they just don't hold up. I find these games boring nowadays. A lot of that has to do with the forced co-op, the... There's a lot to get into with both these titles, but like with this game, just RE4 inventory isn't there. I'm not a big fan of the setting, especially when a lot of it's at daytime. Forced co-op, the inventory in this game sucks. And then with this game, it is so linear and so locked down that you can't even really explore anything. It's so on rails, and it's just too damn linear, too damn on rails... And it's just a boring game to play. Both of these are just boring and I can't really get into them. But yeah, I think the reason, before I get into what I think they should do, I think the reason they should just remake Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6 is they could actually make these bad games into good games. They can make these more like Resident Evil 4, have more horror in them, and just improve them. And I think these games should get remakes. That way I could actually get back into them again and actually enjoy them. And we can actually see a better evolution of Resident Evil 4. And if they remade these games, they could actually possibly even make them better than Resident Evil 4, which they should have been. They should have been better than Resident Evil 4 because of the groundwork that game laid. And I think what would have helped these games is like Shinji Mikami, Hideki Kamiya, if those two were still with Capcom at the time these games came out, I think they could have helped a lot with these titles, especially Shinji Mikami. So yeah, I'm going to talk about what I'd like to see in both of these games, they got remakes. We'll start with Resident Evil 5 first. So, with Resident Evil 5, with a remake of this game, what I think they could do is, first of all, if they did remake Resident Evil 5, what I think they should do is they should follow the original beta version a lot more, where it's actually single player, Chris by himself, because it's not as scary and there really isn't much horror there with a partner next to you. It, now, the thing is, you could still have co-op in Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6 if you did it like Dead Rising 2. Dead Rising 2 did it the right way. Dead Rising 2 gave you a clone of the main character that you and your partner could play as, and but, but the co-op character wasn't involved in the story. You could just make a clone of Chris, and boom, there's your co-op, and then you can still play it by yourself. They could do something like that, because Dead Rising 2 did co-op the right way. It didn't take away from the single-player experience. And the problem with Resident Evil 5 Resident Evil 6 is co-op takes away from the single player experience. I mean, I hear that these games are fun with friends, but a lot of games I've played by myself, and if you don't have people to play these games with, they really lose a lot of their value, because if these games are only decent or good with other people, then that sucks, because that means they're really not that good of games, because anything can be fun or better with friends. But with a remake of Resident Evil 5, I would say have it more like the beta, where Chris is by himself, no Sheva. I would also say include zombies, because zombies were supposed to be in Resident Evil 5, so include zombies, I would say have more nighttime settings, kind of like what it seems like Resident Evil 4 Remake is doing, where we have nighttime being more used in the game, I would say with this, have the nighttime be more used, maybe just have it be consistently nighttime, or have it used more often, Chris by himself, more like the original RE5, I would say 
a night time would a night time would make the setting better. Have like the atmosphere and music that like have atmosphere and music that has the same flair and impact that Resident Evil 4 had. I'm not saying copy the music and atmosphere of Resident Evil 4, but however they made the atmosphere and music in Resident Evil 4 work so well, they need to figure out a way to do that with Resident Evil 5. Have the atmosphere and the music be memorable and just be great and have the same flair as Resident Evil 4. Have it be single player. If you want to do co-op, go the Dead Rising 2 route. I would also say have the Resident Evil 4 inventory because that was a really good inventory. There was no reason to get rid of it. It was stupid to get rid of it. Have the Resident Evil 4 inventory, but improve upon it. One of the problems with Resident Evil 4 is that you couldn't keep all your guns. In this game, you can't keep all your guns. So what they could have did is kept the Resident Evil 4 inventory and then kept it to where you can keep all your guns in Resident Evil 5. You could also have, you know, you can switch weapons on the fly or like hotkey weapons like Fallout, like the Fallout 3 games or how RE2 and RE3 Remake is where you can have a couple of guns um, with a shortcut. You can do that with Resident Evil 5. Just do that with RE4 inventory. Have the merchant in there. Have more horror, have better horror tones, single player. Chris by himself, no co-op. Have it more set at night time to make the atmosphere better. Put the zombies in here like you were supposed to. Have the tyrant in there like the original version was supposed to. I would also say have Shinji Mikami direct this game. I think it would have been a lot better if Shinji Mikami would have directed it. So another thing I would do with the Resident Evil 5 remake is have Shinji Mikami make it. That way he can build upon what he did with Resident Evil 4. In his vision, he can build upon it even more with his vision. So I'd like to see Shinji Mikami make this. Well, if they remade this nowadays, it'd more likely not be Shinji Mikami because it's not a Capcom. So if they did remake this, I would say get the RE2 remake team to make this because they did a pretty good job with RE2 remake and they're helming RE4 remake. So I would say get them to remake Resident Evil 5. Some other things they could do with the Resident Evil 5 remake, I would say some other things they could do is... um. Maybe include certain characters that were supposed to be in here, like have Barry Burton show up since he was supposed to be in here. Um, just have, like, like with a remake of Resident Evil 5, just what made Resident Evil 4 work, put it into this. The, the magic that was in Resident Evil 4 with the gameplay, the inventory, the atmosphere, the music, take that magic and put it into this for a remake. Make it single player. Have a better atmosphere. Have it set at nighttime. Chris by himself. Put some zombies in here. Mostly nighttime, especially in the Africa setting. And have the gore from Resident Evil 4. That's another thing they could do with a remake of Resident Evil 5 is keep the gore from Resident Evil 4 because the gore was kind of downgraded when you switch from 4 to 5. I would say another thing that would be neat is having different laser sight colors. Resident Evil 6 did that, so I think it would be cool to have different laser sight colors because they didn't really do that, which is kind of strange because this was supposed to be a sequel to 4, so they could have built upon the laser sights by having different colors. Some other things they could have did, you know, they could, with a remake, they could add new costumes, you know, they could add, you know, new parts in the story, I guess, new enemies, new characters, um... Letting you move while aiming and shooting, that'd be cool. Um, I would say with Chris's design, maybe go with his original design. I don't mind him being bulky, but maybe go with his original design. Another thing they could do with Resident Evil 5 Remake is they could make Lost in Nightmares longer. Like, take Lost in Nightmares and actually make it longer and put zombies in there where it's a lot better. Or what they could do is... They could completely remake Resident Evil 5 and just scrap the original game and just make it completely Lost in Nightmares, and that's Resident Evil 5. That would be probably even better because the atmosphere in Lost in Nightmares was great. So maybe you could just remake Resident Evil 5, but just make it Lost in Nightmares only and get rid of everything in the original 5. You could either do that, or you could do the stuff I suggested. So yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of when it comes to what they could do for a remake of Resident Evil 5. I think this game really should get a remake after they do 4 because... This game just doesn't hold up for me because of the setting. It's not really fun to play. The forced co-op, there isn't really a lot of horror to this. The RE4 inventory is gone. Just the, the magic and flair and everything we loved about Resident Evil 4, it just didn't really feel like it was carried into Resident Evil 5. And it just it feels like a weaker Resident Evil 4. This should have been better than Resident Evil 4. So I would say that's all the stuff I can think of on the top of my head for a remake of Resident Evil 5. Um, so yeah, that's what I gotta say about this one. Yeah. 
So, next game we'll talk about is Resident Evil 6, and if they remade this, what they could do with it. So, this will be a lot harder to do because, well, this game has a lot going on, and there's not really an original version or a beta of this game, unlike Resident Evil 5. So the first thing I would say with a remake of Resident Evil 6 is I think you want to at least have a few talented teams. Not like too many developers where there's too many cooks in the kitchen, which what I heard was the downfall of the Resident Evil 6 originally. But I would say two, uh, two avenues they could take with like, like, let's say the Resident Evil 4 remake comes out, then they decide to remake Resident Evil 5, and then after that, if they wanted to remake Resident Evil 6, what I think they could do, two avenues. The first thing they could do is I know they're a lot older and they're not at the Capcom, but I think if you got Shinji Mikami and Hideki Kamiya to both get involved in a remake of Resident Evil 6, they'd be able to do pretty well. I think if they both worked together on a huge project like this and remake it, I think they could do really well remaking this game. Um, I think they could do a really good job remaking this game. Or you could have the Resident Evil 2 remake team and the Resident Evil 3 remake team come together and remake this. I know the Resident Evil 3 remake team isn't as good as the RE2 remake team, but you know, they could always improve and look at the criticism of 3 remake and just do a better job this time around. So you could either get Hideki Kami and Shinji Mikami, or you could get the RE2 and RE3 remake team to remake Resident Evil 6. So that's what I would say team-wise what you could do. Um, I would say um, usually the remakes cut content, which is something I didn't talk about too much in Resident Evil 5. I mean, I'm sure they'd cut content with this. Um, I mean, cut content would probably be somewhat beneficial for Resident Evil 5, because there's a lot of changes I suggested they made. Like, this this would be, I feel like this would really benefit from a reimagining and a lot of cut content, because they could just make this a better game, so I feel like it doesn't hold up. And the same thing goes with Resident Evil 6. If they were to remake Resident Evil 6, I actually think this would benefit from the reimagining, whatever they call it, cut content. I think this would actually benefit from it, because the original Resident Evil 6 really isn't good. I used to like this game, but I just don't like it anymore, and it's not fun anymore. And I think with a remake of this game, they could make it a lot better now. In terms of what they could do, I would say make it to where it's not, like, if they were going to remake Resident Evil 6, make it to where it's not on the rails where it's so linear that you don't really have any areas to explore, you're just constantly going from one area to the next, make it to where it's not like that, where it's traditional Resident Evil, like RE2 Remake and the old school games Resident Evil 4, where you can actually explore environments a little bit and solve puzzles. Have that be something in Resident Evil 6 Remake and get rid of the bullshit where it feels like an on-rails thing where you're just going from one area to the next. Also, get rid of like forced like sections and cinematics and... QTEs, get rid of all that shit. Stupid shit where like Leon's walking slow and you can't fully run or can't use your controls. Get rid of that garbage. Chris Redfield looking at a helicopter and you can't move the camera. Shit like that. Get rid of that crap because that shit is awful. Let me just play the fucking game. Get rid of those four sections where you're having to walk slow and you can't enjoy your controls. Get rid of all the quick time events. There was way too many quick time events in this fucking game. Either tone them down or just get rid of them completely. Um... So yeah, and then some other things they could do is just keep just keep the inventory and item management shop from Resident Evil 4 and 5. I mean, Resident Evil 5 should have had the merchant, which that's something I forgot to say. If they did remake this, definitely have the merchant from Resident Evil 4, which they were going to do, but they scrapped it at last minute. But I would say they should keep the merchant for this game in the remake. But have a merchant for Resident Evil 6 Remake, get rid of the skills system, and just go back to what 4 and 5 did. There was really nothing wrong with 4 and 5 system of having guns and upgrading them. They kind of just toned things down and made it more just kind of generic of just completely getting rid of upgrading guns and just going for this system of using skills. Maybe what you could do is have your skills and skill points combined with 4 and 5's inventory and 4 and 5's like... Um, you know, item, item management shop. So they can combine that with the skills or just use four and five's item management shop with the merchant and just get rid of the skill system. Some other things they could do with Resident Evil 6 for a Resident Evil 6 remake. I would say, I don't know how they should do the campaigns because the game has a lot going on. It's probably the longest Resident Evil game. And a lot of people out there, they feel like... They feel like Resident Evil 6 would have been better if it was two campaigns or one campaign. Um, so it's just, it's kind of difficult to 
talk about how they should handle the campaign. So I would say there's maybe two ways they could go about this. They could either improve the campaigns that are there and make them better, trim them down some way, or they could just have fewer campaigns or just one campaign. So there's like three ways they could go about it. They could either have fewer campaigns and flesh them out or flesh the campaigns that are there out or make them better or just have one campaign. So there's like three ways they could go about this. And I don't really know which way they could go about it with remaking Resident Evil 6. That's why I said this would be harder to talk about than 5. So I would say, I would say, okay, for Leon's campaign, I would say have it be by himself where it's just him and the campus going to visit the president and I would say gameplay wise, have it be like five and four, of course, where it's over the shoulder, have the RE4 inventory, have the merchant and that item management shop. And I would say have Leon by himself in the campus um, and not have co-op. And like I, like, I don't know, like with co-op, like, I mean, it, it would be cool though. Like with Leon's campaign, if they got rid of Helena and had Claire in there, that would actually be pretty cool, but I don't know. I feel like co-op was my biggest problem or one of my issues at five and six. So I would say with Leon's campaign, make it solo, Leon's by himself, going to the campus and have it more horror-like. Let you actually, They should let you actually explore the campus and solve puzzles, um, already for inventory, have like the great Resident Evil music that, you know, was really good from the past, have really good atmosphere, Leon by himself, have no more on rails or QTEs for his campaign, make it creepier, make it scarier, make it have the flair and magic that Resident Evil 4 had, give it like creepy music, a good atmosphere, do that with Leon's campaign, get rid of the QTEs, things like that. And then what else could they do with his campaign? You see, the thing is, it's, it's kind of difficult because I haven't played this or Resident Evil 5 fully in a long time. I mean, I can't really revisit them and fully beat them because I don't enjoy them anymore. So, I don't really remember... Like, I remember things from Resident Evil 6 and 5, but it's just... I gotta go off the top of this because it's hard for me to revisit these games and actually fully beat them because I can't really get into them anymore. So, okay, we can move on to Chris's campaign. So, for Chris's campaign... I don't really know what they could do with Chris's campaign. Maybe you could make Chris's campaign solo, much like Leon's, and have him just be a lone soldier, a lone wolf soldier. Maybe all of his soldiers get wiped out and he's just like a Rambo type or a John McClane type or somebody that's just by himself. And you just have the same thing with Leon's campaign where you have no QTEs, you can explore things more, and you have the merchant and item management shop, all that. Maybe you can still have the stories intertwine um, I would say do the same thing with Jake's campaign, maybe have it be solo, same thing as Chris's campaign, Ada's campaign's already single player technically, they would just have it with no QTEs and more exploring. I would say some other things I'd like to see with the Resident Evil 6 remake, I'd like to see, um, I'd like to see costume selection i think a cost i think costume selection would be pretty cool for resident evil 6 remake like actually having costumes because you couldn't wear any costumes in this game which sucked because resident evil 5 and 4 had costumes so i'll say have costumes um and then like the other style campaigns these are difficult to talk about like there's some other things you could do like they could like i said fewer campaigns like what if they just had a Leon and Chris campaign, or like like that? See, that's a, it's hard to talk about what they could do with a remake of Resident Evil Six. Um, I would say, out of all the campaigns, if they wanted to just completely overhaul Resident Evil Six for a remake and trim the fat, make it a lot better game, and make it a lot more condensed and tighter, and not as much stuff going on, maybe they could just. I don't know. I would say. Get rid of Chris's campaign, get rid of Jake's campaign, get rid of Ada's campaign. Maybe just have maybe just have a campaign with Leon where you essentially the length of all the campaigns, you just combine it into one. You just make it to where Leon's campaign where you could just have one campaign that's just Leon, where it's just him by himself. They 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 put all their in, they, the developers can put all their time, energy, and effort into 
they could put all their time, energy, and effort into just Leon's campaign by getting rid of all the other campaigns, just putting everything into that, making it single player, getting rid of QTEs, getting rid of like the on rail stuff and making it more explorable, having unlockable costumes, having the merchant in there, having better music and better atmosphere that is what you're expecting from, you know, the good Resident Evil games. Um, but it's just, it, it's it's really tough to say the best objective way to go with the campaigns because, I don't know, you know, it's, it's tough to say because this game has like four campaigns, five and four, it only had one campaign. So just, it makes it difficult. I, I don't really know what direction they should go. I mean... I wouldn't mind just still having all the campaigns like the original if they get rid of the QTEs, if they make it to where you can actually explore and it's not so on rails, if they have more of a horror atmosphere, of a better music, single player, more of the magic of Resident Evil 4, either having Shinji and Hideki Kamiya making it or the RE2 and RE3, RE2 and RE3 remake team. Um, so it's just, it, it's tough to say how they would go about it campaign wise. Um, Realistically, if they remade Resident Evil 6, there's two ways I could see them going about it. I think they would either have fewer campaigns and only have maybe one or two at most three, but I would say they'd probably try to have fewer campaigns. They'd probably just scale it down to two. Maybe they would only have a Leon and Chris campaign. I don't know. Or they would just pick one campaign, build upon it, and scrap all the other campaigns. Um, that's the only two ways I can think of this as going. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. Some other things, the Resident Evil 6 remake, I would say what else they could do with the Resident Evil 6 remake is, um, it, it's kind of difficult. I would say, like I said, better atmosphere, better music, um, like the magic of Resident Evil 4, have it more like, not as on rails, more explorable areas, um, better atmosphere so th there's some other things they could do like if if they wanted to keep the campaigns they could make it to where like like if jake if for example if jake's campaign is solo maybe jake could get stalked by eustonok maybe eustonok could be another stalker and eustonok's really cool maybe he could stalk jake and you just play as him by himself maybe they could change jake's story where he's maybe he uh maybe wesker's uh, arch enemies come after Jake because they think he's gonna be the next Wesker or maybe he's I don't know like I, and then like the story like story wise I don't know what they could do so it's just it's hard to say I'm trying the best I can so yeah I think I think Resident Evil 5 and 6 should definitely get remakes I feel like these games don't hold up I can't really get into them anymore because of the atmosphere the forced co-op they just lack the fun and magic and flair of Resident Evil 4 I feel like Resident Evil 4 was like a perfect mix of action and horror, whereas these games were just action and no horror, which is really a shame. I think Resident Evil 4 did did it so well, and then these two just really didn't. They didn't really have much horror to them. It was just all action and co-op and all this shit. And if they were to remake Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6, I would say make them more like you know what Resident Evil 4 was, build upon RE4, Keep what worked in that game. If there's something that didn't work, get rid of it. And I would say these games would really benefit from some reimaginings and cut content. I would say make this single player, the magic of RE4, more of the atmosphere set at nighttime, better music that's memorable like Resident Evil 4 in the older games, Chris by himself, zombies, make Lost in Nightmares longer, or just make or just scrap the original RE5 and just make Resident Evil 5 free and make Lost in Nightmares. A Resident Evil 6 remake, either just have one campaign out of the four that's really expanded upon and tightly focused on and a lot of effort, or just have fewer campaigns with more into it, or just keep all the campaigns and try to fix it, make it a better game, have costume selection, have the RE4 inventory, have the RE4 merchant, have more horror, no QTE crap, um, you should be able to explore, no stupid on-rail stuff. No stupid having to walk slow and you can't use some of your controls. Have costume selection. Um, so some other things you could do with 
a remake for Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6. I would say in terms of like the extra modes, I would say Mercenaries was fine for the most part and Resident Evil 5, so keep it the same. Add some new characters, add some new stages, things like that. So I would say keep Mercenaries mostly the same. Lost in Nightmares, Desperate Escape, make them longer or just make Lost in Nightmares the main game, but make Lost in Nightmares and Desperate Escape longer. Versus mode, I wouldn't care if they cut that out, because I tried versus mode for Resident Evil 5, and I thought it was stupid. Playing a game that you can't move while aiming and shooting, versing other people was just stupid. So I would say, make versus better, or just get rid of it. Um, and then you also had, like, what other modes did you have in here? I think you had uh, No Mercy mode. Which, I can't remember what that is. I think there's like a versus mode, and then there's one where... Like, I can't remember all the modes, but I would say... For the most part, keep Mercenaries, because it was fine the way it was. Just add on to it. Make Desperate Escape and Lost of Nightmares longer. Add to it. Um, either make versus better. Maybe it'll be better with the aiming and shooting and moving. Or just get rid of it completely, because I wasn't really a big fan of it. I don't remember no mercy mode. Maybe that's like another variation of versus. Whatever mode, whatever other modes they have that I'm not remembering, make them better or just get rid of them. So that's what I gotta say about like the extra content and what they could do with that. And I would say like new content, like I said, new characters, maybe new stuff in the story, new areas, new guns, new costumes, new stuff for the whole game, really. Um, and maybe include some of the unlockables for Resident Evil 4, like the Shadow Typewriter and stuff like that. And then for Resident Evil 6, I would say the Mercenaries in Resident Evil 6 is mostly good, but I would say one thing I think it needed was a better character selection. I mean, you had some good characters to use in the Mercenaries of this game, but I would say the character selection could have been better. So I would say for Mercenaries of Resident Evil 6 Remake, keep it mostly the same, but of course add more maps, add more characters... You can even have people in there that aren't even in the campaign, which is what Resident Evil 5 did at least. It had uh, Rebecca and Barry and stuff like that, at least the Gold Edition. So they could even have characters that aren't even in the campaign. So just have like a better roster, more maps. And other than that, I think Mercenaries would be fine for the most part, keeping it the same, but just adding to it and improving it. The Resident Evil 6 remake. For the other modes, Agent Hunt mode, I would say maybe keep that one. That one, I either, I could, I could live without, or could have it, I could take it or leave it. Um, I don't mind, I didn't, I didn't remember not, I remember not minding Agent Hunt, I haven't played it in a while, but I would say you could either keep Agent Hunt and improve it or get rid of it, one of the two. It was kind of like the Left 4 Dead versus mode, so they could either improve that and keep it or get rid of it, um, because Mercenary seems to be like the best extra mode, or one of the best extra modes Resident Evil's had. So I would say, yeah, do that with Agent Hunt mode. And then with the other modes, I actually didn't play any of the other modes because when I played Resident Evil 6 like crazy on the 360 back in the day, I didn't really have a lot of the DLC. By the time I got the remaster with the extra content, the game didn't hold up anymore. So I don't really have much to say about the other modes. Um, I don't know if they say the other modes on here. I don't think they do. So the other modes, like I know there's one where someone plays as Yu Sanaka, then people play as other players, and you have versus. So... You have those two modes, whatever else I'm not remembering. I would say just improve on those or get rid of them or replace them. Um, so if there's certain modes in both of these games that they don't want to keep for the remake, then just replace them with better modes or just make those modes better. Or what they could do that I think would be even better is get, um, in terms of like extra modes, only keep Mercenaries from Resident Evil 5 and only keep Mercenaries from Resident Evil 6. And then, instead of the all the other extra modes, put Raid Mode in both of these games. That would be better. I'd rather have Raid Mode in Resident Evil 5 and 6 Remake than all the other modes returning. So that's something else they could do. They could put Raid Mode in both of these games with Remakes. So that's what I gotta say in terms of like the extra modes and some of the extra content, what they could do with that. I think in general, with a remake of Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6, I think what would just make the most sense is a better mix of horror and action more like Resident Evil 4, and, you know, they'll probably have more content, reimaginings, cut content, and just taking all the issues people have with these games and getting rid of them, and just making them better games, making them better received games, and having the reception be better. 
I would say another thing with a remake of this, I, I shouldn't have to say this, but considering that 3 Remake was rushed and companies, sometimes companies don't learn from the past. I mean, we've seen companies do things more than once that people don't like. Like, for example, with Capcom, they gave Double May Cry to a different developer with DMC2. That didn't turn out well. People didn't like DMC2. They did that again years later with the reboot of Double May Cry. They did the same thing with uh, Resident Evil. Not in terms of developers. Not in terms of developers, no. Um, they did another thing. They rushed Devil May Cry 4, to my knowledge. And I heard that hurt that game. But then they did that again with Resident Evil 3 Remake. So I would say an important thing is if they remake Resident Evil 5 and remake Resident Evil 6. I'm not saying both at once, obviously. But I'm just discussing both of these. But if they ever did remake both of these games, take time with it. Don't rush it. Because um, these games are already kind of like sort of black sheep to the series. I mean, this game definitely has a better reception than Resident Evil 6, but I would say if they remade Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6, don't rush them and actually take time with them. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's that's really all I can think of for now when it comes to remakes for Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6. I mean, I'm not a video game developer. I never made a video game. Um, at the end of the day, you know, Capcom and the people behind Resident Evil, they'd be able to know what to do with these the most. But this is just, you know, fan talking wish list type stuff. This is a requested video. I tried the best I could. So yeah, this is pretty much all I can think of saying in terms of what I think they could do for remakes of Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6 and what they could do with them. It's just, it's hard to talk about. It was somewhat easy. It was somewhat easy with Resident Evil 5, but it was difficult with this one. So I would say, yeah, I, I would like to see remakes of these games. Um, I mean, I know that these games are, like, a lot newer than RE4 and older Resident Evil games, but, you know, we're getting to a point where they're remaking extremely new games. Like, if Last of Us 1 can get a remake, then I think these can get remakes. Um, and plus, I think we need to see more bad games get remakes. I and mean, like I said, in my opinion, yes, I used to love Resident Evil 5 and 6. I used to love these games back in the day, but they don't hold up anymore. So I actually would like to see these games get remakes. So, yeah, maybe... After they remake Resident Evil 4, they probably will remake these games next. At least Resident Evil 5. I, I, I could see them remaking these games next. I mean, these games sold a lot. I could definitely see them at least remaking Resident Evil 5, because this is the most successful Resident Evil game sales-wise. Um, that's why that's why they chose Resident Evil 4 instead of Code Veronica. I mean, I would have rather seen Code Veronica first than 4, but I get why they chose 4, because more popular and it's sold more than Code Veronica so obviously they're going to go for that first so yeah I would say after they remake Resident Evil 4 if it sells well which I think it will sell well they should definitely remake Resident Evil 5 next and Resident Evil 6 next and improve on these games tremendously make them a lot better make them a lot more like Resident Evil 4 or make them more like RE2 Remake have a better mix of action and horror for both these games fix a lot of the issues that people have with these titles and just you know and they could also like Resident Evil 4 Remake hasn't came out yet but whenever Resident Evil 4 Remake does come out hopefully if it's good whatever they learn from making that remake and how they revisited RE4 they could take that knowledge and experience into Resident Evil 5 and 6 if they decide to remake these games which I think it would be interesting to see these games get remakes so yeah that's really all I got to say in this video I tried the best I could. I didn't really write anything down. I just kind of went off the top and tried to think of things. I'm sure there would be new content in both of these games. In terms of a... Like, I didn't talk about story much. I would say in terms of story, I didn't really have much of an issue with the story of Resident Evil 5 because Wesker was a cool villain and it was more connected to Resident Evil than 4 was. Resident Evil 6's story, though, could definitely use a lot of work because some of it's pretty stupid with the fact that you have fucking... Like, Leon feels like a dunce at times. He feels like an idiot at times. I don't remember Derek Simmons being a particularly interesting villain. So, I would say with Resident Evil 5, they remade it. The story is mostly fine, but I'm sure they would change some things and add new things. But I would say with Resident Evil 6's story, it could definitely use an overhaul or just a lot more done with it. Um, yeah, that's just what I think and my overall thoughts and everything in regards to a discussion video for remakes of Resident Evil 5 and 6. I think it'd be cool to see it. I'm sure we will see it one day. Um, if not Resident Evil 6, and I think we'd at least see a remake of Resident Evil 5. 
Um, and I, I would be interested to see how they would do it. Um, and especially since they're remaking Resident Evil 4, whatever they can learn and experience from that, and since Resident Evil 5 and 6 are just a continuation of RE4 style, it should be even easier and more of a feel they can get a hold of if remaking these games. Um, I mean, in, in terms of my wish list, I would just love Shinji Mikami to direct both of these. Like, if, like if they could get Shinji Mikami to direct the remakes for both these games, that would be great. Um, I would say get Hideki Kami involved for RE6 if you got Shinji Mikami. That way, you have an extra hand since it's such a huge game. Um, but realistically, what I think what I, what I think they'll do is they'll, if I had to guess, RE2 remake team will make this remake if it gets a remake, and if they remake Resident Evil 6. If they can trim it down enough, then maybe all they'll need is RE2 Remake Team. But if it's if they're going to keep a lot of the original RE6 and have it be such a huge project, maybe they could just have the RE2 Remake Team and the RE3 Remake Team. But yeah, that's sort of what I'm going to say in this video. Let me know what you would like to see in a remake of... Let me know what you would like to see for Resident Evil 5 and 6 remakes. Ideas you can think of that I didn't mention and how you would feel about it. Um... Yeah, that's all I gotta say in this video. Peace.